Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of elastic waist pajama pants that will fit 11 and a half inch dolls like Barbie and similar sized dolls. Before we begin, please go to my website, Shellywood.com, to download and print this free PDF sewing pattern. There's a helpful link in the description below. Use your free pattern to cut out four pant legs using lightweight flannel fabric. Lay one pant leg on top of another keeping right sides together. Sew around the crotch. Follow these directions for the other two pant legs. Clip the seams. Now, for my detail work like this, I like to use Fisker's 5-inch stitcher scissors, like you see me using here. Open your seams up like this and press them open. Lay one pair of pant legs on top of another, again keeping those right sides together. Sew just one out seam from the waist down the length of the pant to the bottom of just that one pant leg. Open up this seam as shown here and press. At the waist, create a casing by folding once and then a second time, but this fold will be deeper. Your pattern is marked with lines to guide you for this. Stitch along the very bottom of the casing. You can use a sewing machine for this stitch but I prefer to use a whip stitch for precision. If you like to learn how to do the whip stitch, I have a tutorial video for that. There's a link to it in the description below this video on YouTube. Measure your doll for 1 8 inch wide elastic and cut it with a slight overlap. I bought my elastic from Elastic by the Yard. Again, you can find a helpful link to this elastic in the description below this video on YouTube. Attach a safety pin to one end of your elastic. Send the safety pin through the casing. Use straight pins to hold the elastic in place. And I'm showing you here how I do that. I just kind of wiggle that safety pin through the casing as I go and when I come to the end of the elastic then I carefully insert a straight pin making sure that the straight pin goes all the way through the elastic and the fabric. And I do the same thing at the other end before I remove the tiny safety pin. And there you go. Make sure the straight pins go through the elastic on each side of the casing. Bring the two straight pins together and sew from the casing at the top down the leg to the bottom of the unsewn pant leg. Make sure your stitches go through the elastic. At this point, you can remove your straight pins, open up one pant leg, like you see me doing here, and fold the end of the pant leg once, and then a second time, following your pattern's hemlines as a guide. And we're going to create a hem. 
whip stitch along this folded edge. If you need help with the whip stitch, I have a tutorial for that as I've said earlier. Just look in the description below. Only hem one pant leg. We'll do the other one later. Sew a partial inseam starting at the bottom of the hemmed pant leg, stitching across the crotch area, and ending your stitches about at the knee area. Now we'll hem the second pant leg. Open the unhemmed pant leg as shown. Fold it one time, and then a second time, and once again you'll create a hem. Again, use a whip stitch to complete your hem. As you work, compare the two sides of the pant leg, making sure both sides match in length. Now finish sewing the inseam from knee to hem. Once you complete this stitch, clip the crotch, just like you see me doing here with those little Fisker scissors. Invert the pants. When inverting, you may find it helpful to use a chopstick, like you see me doing here. I get to about this point and then I give my blunt end of the chopstick a little twist. You want to use the blunt end so you don't accidentally rip the fabric. And now you're ready to try them on your doll. For more free, printable sewing patterns, for making doll clothes to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Hey, did you know that you could design your own doll pants patterns from scratch with just a limited amount of sewing knowledge? Pattern design is made simple by connecting your doll's measurements with a template I give you during my course. I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer. I own Shelly Wood LLC and the website ShellyWood.com. In my Creative Spark online learning course on doll pants design, I'll teach you the basic fundamentals of pattern design, like how do seam allowances work, before we move on to work on designing our own leggings, jeans, fly front pants, and even overalls. So please join me. I would love to see you on the Creative Spark online learning platform. Come see what we offer. Again, I'm Shelly Wood, one of the instructors.